Hey guys, I want to do a quick video on how to avoid Bitcoin scams. There are a lot of good opportunities out there, but there's also a lot of unscrupulous people and companies that will take your Bitcoin without even thinking about it. So I found a great resource for um, that goes through and identifies uh, Bitcoin scams. It's called badbitcoin.org. And ironically enough, they sell advertisements to some of the scammers that they list on their site. But in fairness to them, they also state that they, that they do that to help, help some of the revenue uh, coming in. So you can go here from A to Z if there's anything that you're looking at. Um, you know, there's a lot of controversy surrounding BitConnect. So one of the first things I did was typed in BitConnect to see if that, uh, see if that comes up. Let me go to the B's here. BitConnect and voila, BitConnect comes up. We're watching to see how this played out and it has played out to be just another Ponzi fraud. June 3rd, 2016, now moving to a an MMM style lending Ponzi, Dyer 12-2. Now, um, there's a lot of people, you know, in BitConnect, there's a lot of people that, you know, that uh, say that it's a fraud, um, that it's a, that it's a scam. So, you know, make your own, you know, judgment with that if you're going to invest in it make sure that it's something that uh, you are prepared to lose for full uh, disclosure I have a small amount invested in in BitConnect but I do not actively recruit others to join it you know you're not going to see a description in the link for uh, for BitConnect however someone came to me and said hey you know, I understand the risks of BitConnect. I want to invest. You know, I'd be more than happy to share the the link with them. But you know, it's um, it's decent profit as long as it keeps uh, paying out. I have some reason to um, believe that uh, that it will go a lot longer than uh, than people think, barring some type of uh, you know government shutdown of the program. But anyway. Uh, badbitcoin.org. Uh, um, also, a good way to, to to filter something is to put scam in front of it. You know, you, you type uh, type in whatever it is, so and so scam, to see what comes up on it. Just be you know, just because um, someone labels it a scam or they, they write something does not necessarily mean that it is a scam. Scam is being used um, very loosely. Uh, these days. Um, for me, a scam is someone that intentionally um, or some organization um, attempts to take your money. It's like they know um, that they're not going to pay out. And then you have others where it may be the case where it doesn't work out, but that wasn't that wasn't their intention to, you know, in, in my book, that's not a scam. And you, you can lose, um, you can lose money anywhere. So, Anyway, check out badbitcoin.org, uh, save it, refer to it, and um, also when you're looking at things such as ICOs, be sure to uh, vet the, 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 the leaders, the, pe the people behind the scenes, the people that are organizing and uh, running, who will be running the organization. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.